Okay YouTubers, so I'm here at my neighbour's joint with their EF Falcon, which actually used to belong to my mother many years ago. So anyway, it's developed a bit of a problem lately where what will happen is it will die out at idles when you're sitting at lights or something. Um, it'll just die. So now I've got a few, you know, a few ideas, maybe fuel filter, throttle position sensor, you know, things like that. I've checked all the leads, checked battery voltage, and all that sort of stuff that can play with computers. Um, and that seems alright. Um, just don't really want to start playing with it, you know, until I have a fair idea of what it is. Which, really, what I'll probably end up doing is I'll test the throttle position sensor first and then test a few other air fire components. Um, I tested all the injectors, you can hear they're clicking, um, you know, with a healthy pulse and they're all pretty, you know, they're all in rhythm. They're not, um, you know, so it's not really, I doubt it's anything like that. But anyway, I'll show you what it is anyway. So it's running all right at the moment, but as soon as you rev it and let it back to idle, it'll um, die out. Just like that. And then it will restart sometimes with our accelerator, but other times you need to just give it a bit of a prod to get it going. So that time I didn't, it restarted straight away. So we'll just do it again. You can hear there's a little bit of a whining sound, but that's more likely. I'm pretty sure that's just the power steering pump, and I suppose there could be a vacuum leak somewhere. Almost died then, but it come back. So you don't need to give it too much, and it still does it. Right. hear it then. It was alright that time. So it seems to be alright now but yeah, it's just something in a minute. I'm not quite sure I suppose. So I doubt because it's idling fairly normal height you know. I wouldn't have it idling any higher than what it is now. It's probably sitting, I can't tell you what it's sitting at actually, it's probably yeah, about 800. I mean that's fairly normal for this sort of car so anyway, anybody got any suggestions I'd be gladly received. Let me see if it'll do it again. So I won't do it now. I'll turn it off. And then restart it. See just then. There you go. makes no difference. I've disconnected a few vacuum lines along the way and seen if it makes a difference. I mean this solenoid here you can see is working quite clearly. So I don't think it's anything vacuum related, I think it's more AFI, especially the way it stumbles. I see it just dies. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully someone can Gives a bit of a heads up on what it is. Um, because, I mean, I just don't really want to start playing with it until I have a good idea of what it is because this is their main car. They've got the Magna and the Ute over there. But, I mean, you know, there's no point having this off the road while I'm chasing problems if, you know, I don't really want to waste money replacing parts either if you don't have to. As we all respect 
that belt needs doing actually. Um, there's a few little things I need to do. I'll do it could be fuel filter. So I'll do a fuel filter soon enough. Um, you know, like those cheap things. I'll do fuel filter anyway because it probably hasn't had it done for quite a while. Um, all the ignition leads seem all right. Haven't checked spark plugs yet, but I will. But I don't think it's. I only checked them about 3,000 k's ago. So anyway, um, all right. Thanks a lot. I'll see you later.